Welcome back everyone, this is Annie, and today we're going over my first order from a vendor that I've never tried before. This is Ava's Country Cupboard, and I've heard a lot of great things about her wax from various people in the wax community and friends, and I've been really wanting to try it, so I did place my first order with her on March 29th. It shipped out on April 1st, and then I received it on April 4th, so between ordering it and receiving that and going through shipping that was less than a week and I've not opened this box I've not smelled anything I've only taken off the shipping label for our privacy sake so as you can see it was sent in a regional rate a box and the shipping cost for this was nine dollars and ninety five cents I don't remember if there's a shipping discount if you order more than a hundred bucks or not um, if you do know um, would you comment that down below I haven't ordered from her before like I said and this is the only time I've ordered so I'm not super familiar with all of that getting started here it's packaged with some bubble um, wrap on top which is really nice there's an invoice everything is wrapped except for the samples right here well a lot of samples um, and everything's fit neatly into this box now this was a regional rate box a like I said so it's not a huge huge order let me see on the invoice her invoice in Includes the items and then it does have the breakdown of the prices as well which not everybody does and a handwritten note thank you for your order enjoy Lindsay so Lindsay is the owner let's dive into these samples oh wow it's a lot of samples I don't know if normally an order has this many samples or if it's just like being a first-time customer they want to introduce you to a bunch of different things that maybe you didn't order <clears throat> I love getting samples. This first one is brown sugar zucchini. Look at that little cute, like, flower on top of a petty four. <clears throat> Sorry, I've got a little congestion in my throat. Definitely get the zucchini. It's not too spicy. I've um, started not liking zucchini. The last, like, I don't know, six months or so, it's gradually been giving me headaches, so I'll probably pass this one along. But it does smell good. I uh, get the brown sugar note, too. It's a nice bakery smell. Um, next up is Bunny Hop. I don't know what the scent notes are on this. Definitely fruity. I get an orange. <clears throat> Excuse me, let me get a drink of water. Okay, sorry about that. To me, it smells like orange, maybe Satsuma maybe a little lemon and grapefruit it's very citrusy and, and overall it reminds me of like an orange flavored starburst yeah it smells really nice I don't know if I held this up for y'all to see pretty green little flower shape next up is strawberry pound cake cookie dough little like star like cake shape yeah I get strawberry pound cake which is like strawberry with a rich vanilla pound cake butteriness I don't know that I get cookie dough but I'll definitely try this I love some strawberry pound cake Green apple in the same shape as the strawberry one, but just green. Oh yeah, that is green apple. And it's sweet, but there's a tartness and a greenness to it. It's like a Granny Smith apple, and you know how you can peel the green peel off and maybe munch on that? I don't know if everybody likes eating the peel, but I do. And um, it's got that greenness extra in it that's not in necessarily the flesh of the apple it's kind of like that paired with a jolly rancher that's a green apple jolly rancher 
I wouldn't say it's necessarily a candy scent because that greenness brings like this juicy note. So it's not straight up green apple candy. But that smells really good. I think I would actually order that one just based off of the smell. It's yummy. Next up is Vanilla Cake Pops. It's another little cute bunt cake shape. Hmm. Really light. I do get a little bit of that vanilla um, cake poppy note, like vanilla cake. It's very, very light. Maybe that'll come out more on warm. And the last sample is bubblegum birthday cake in another little bunt cake shape. I like that the shapes of the samples, um, they're similar shapes and you can kind of see that they're um, all designed to be like a certain uh, amount so that someone can pop it into a warmer and um, like a consistent size. Oh, this is interesting. Very interesting. Hmm. know what I think about this. I get bubblegum and I get the birthday cake too and the bubblegum is definitely that classic pink bubblegum but it's also coming across with like a little bit of a lemon note. Very interesting. I am excited to try that. I don't think I've melted anything like that before. Okay, now we're getting to my actual order, and as usual, please remember, these are just first impressions, first sniffs, um, and I really can't tell truly if I would like a fragrance or how it performs until I've melted it, and they will pop up in a melting basket at some point. But these are just first impressions. I think I know what this one's going to be, so everything is wrapped up in white tissue paper. And I picked this one up because of my friend Angela Thrasher. She is on YouTube as For the Love of Sense, and then her Instagram handle is Wax Melts BFF. And if you're not following Angela, I highly recommend it. She has just got some great content. She's a wonderful person as well, and She's a real gift for describing scents and uh, just enjoyable videos. So she recommended this because she was picking it up. And initially we were looking at the notes and she said, oh, this is Ava's country cupboard version of Cupcakes at Tiffany's. And I was like, okay, maybe with a slightly fruity frosting because everybody has like a different description, it seems, for their version of Cupcakes at Tiffany's. And I was like, okay, I'll go ahead and try it. But we realized afterwards, as we were scrolling through more of the scents later after we both ordered, that this is not um, her version of Cupcakes at Tiffany's, which is okay. So this sounds good anyways. It's Ava's Easter Cupcakes, and this is creamy vanilla buttercream marshmallow cupcakes with a slightly fruity and very sugary frosting poured on March 25th of this year. I'm not normally a huge vanilla bakery person. I initially was picking it up because I didn't have any cupcakes at Tiffany's on its own and I've been really wanting to try it. This smells good and honestly it does smell similar to cupcakes at Tiffany's with that rich like vanilla yellow cake and the buttercream frosting. I don't really get the chocolate though that I normally get lightly in cupcakes at Tiffany's. It smells good. Definitely not sad about that mistake in ordering it. And this, I don't remember how much this weighs, but it's $16.25. Let me see if the invoice says weight. 
No, it's called her cake pan tart though. So that was sixteen dollars and twenty-five cents. Um. All right. So next up are some two packs. And I believe she calls these her two pack wax melts. And something I noticed when I was going in to order, I liked that she offered a variety of different sizes in the same sense that she did in this RTS. So if you hadn't tried something before and you were curious about a scent, you didn't have to order it in a loaf or in a bakery bag. If it was still in stock, you could pick it up in a pack like this and these packs are two dollars and 85 cents for two sizable shapes first up this is banana caramel cupcakes poured on march 21st and of course i had to try this because i really love banana bakery and i'm still in the hunt for like a true banana bakery but i found some that i do enjoy um this is definitely really strong and it does come across as banana Laffy Taffy, but that's not all I'm getting here. I get a subtle spiced note and it's not an overwhelming spice. It's more of like the spices you would actually get in a banana bread, maybe a little bit of that nutmeg and a little cinnamon. And it's so light in here. I would hesitant to even say spiced because I know that'll scare some people away but it's just there in the background sorry about that I got interrupted and then they've been doing some road work it sounds like some road repairs outside so I have the AC on in case um, the sounds kind of pick back up to try to block that out but Please forgive me for any background noise. All right, we were talking about this banana caramel cupcakes. I do get the, like the bakery note. I couldn't necessarily say it's cupcakes, but it is sweet. And I do get that banana laffy taffy note. Like I was saying with just a hint of like a baked good spices, not like actually spiced, but just that sense of having a sprinkle of that flavor through like a, a muffin or quick bread. It smells good. I hope that once it's warmed, the banana laffy taffy kind of softens. I found that sometimes they do with the bakery and it turns into more of a true like banana bread smell. Um, at least enough to like enjoy it because I'm not a big banana Laffy Taffy fan. I really kind of dislike it if that's all I'm going to get in this scent, but um, I'm hopeful for this because I smell more than that on cold. So looking forward to trying it. Next up is Honey Bunny and I'll take these out. Y'all can see them. It's two like little suns. I don't know if I can get this to I'm trying to get some more light in here. I don't know if that's just making more glare. But okay, so y'all can see the definition. These little sunflower faces. Oops, there's the other one. Hmm. I don't know what the scent notes on this are. It's really sweet, but more of like a perfume body care sweetness. I really think that there's some musk or something like that in here because I'm picking up on that and then this, not like a true honey, but like a lightly fruity, floralish, sweetness that does have that kind of richness that honey does have that honey has um i'm not really sure why i ordered this maybe something in the notes made me think it was going to smell differently um it's a little bit um 
perfumey body care for me on cold, but I'll still give it a shot. All right. Next up is strawberry cheesecake stuffed waffle cone. Poured on March 15th. And it's these two pink heart shapes. Oh, this smells good. Which really isn't a surprise. I love strawberry, right? Um, it's definitely more of like a artificial candy strawberry. But it smells good. I get a little hint of the waffle cone. I don't think I pick up on cheesecake necessarily, but that might come out on warm. And at last is Strawberry French Toast, poured on February 26th. I don't know what the cure time is for her wax, if it's all soy, if it's a mixture, like a parasoy blend. Oh, this smells very different. I wasn't sure if these two would be very similar, but the bakery note is much stronger on this. You do get hmm, I feel like there's a little bit of something like cinnamon in here and I do get the um, kind of breadiness I guess so the French toast with this I'm hesitant to call it maple because it really doesn't smell like maple but maybe some sort of like a syrupy smell very interesting. And the strawberry is different in this as well. It is a little bit more like a subdued strawberry, but it smells not like a strawberry candy, more like a true strawberry. But it's very light, the strawberry compared to the other notes. It's heavy bakery on this one. It does smell good though. All right, continuing on. Just a few more items to go. Now, this one is... What does she call it on her invoice? Okay. So, this is going to be a bakery tart bag. So, kind of a... One of those bakery bags. And this is in lavender sugar milk. It's sweet lavender, vanilla, sugar, and cream poured on February 22nd. It looks like a variety of different shapes in purple and white and I know there are several lavenders that are really popular I feel like there's a dreamy lavender one and I was going to pick that one up also but it sold out before I could check out okay oh these are cute shapes little smiley face little flower Um, it definitely is that lavender, um, if you're familiar with the sweet lavender from Rose Girls, I feel like it's that same lavender and the lavender that Southbound uses when it's not the herbal lavender. I'm not a big fan of this particular lavender oil, but I will still go ahead and give this a try and see if my nose is wrong judging it on cold. It is sweet. There's a little hint of vanilla. Um, it's just a little bit more artificial lavender and more perfumey body care than what I prefer. I really come to realize I prefer lavender that's more herbal leaning. But it's not that it smells bad. It's just a particular lavender oil that I'm just not a, a big fan of. I, um, I'll still give this a chance and melt it and if I find that it's not for me then I can find a good home for it um, because I know this is a very popular lavender oil that many people love all right and then the rest of these I believe the rest of these are all called extra large break apart tart bars no. Go ahead and put some of these back 
in here so you aren't just looking at an empty, boring box. There are three bars, and let me look at if that's what I got on my other. Okay. This first one up is Fruity Pebble Marshmallow Bars, poured on March 20th. They're really pretty colors. Looks like it's the same kind of mold that several other vendors like Sassy Girl Aroma use, that kind of little petal pattern. And then you can see there's um, a different color on the front. Hmm. I do get a little bit of Fruity Pebbles, but it's actually a little more bakery focused than I thought. And maybe it's absorbed some scent from the bars that's been next to because it has been sitting here for about two months before I've opened this box. But I get the Fruity Pebble, kind of a lime heavy scent. And like a, almost a graham cracker note. I don't really get marshmallow. I don't know what all the other scent notes are on this, but really pretty. I'm looking forward to melting that. Next up is Cocoa Mango, and this is sweet, creamy coconut and fresh mango slices poured on March 20th. Really beautiful, peachy colored and coral. This smells really good. This is yummy. I get that mango. Honestly, I feel like there's pineapple in here too. And the sweet, like kind of creaminess with the coconut. That's really gonna be nice on some hot summer days. This is a great tropical scent just on colds to my nose. And then the last item is Butterfudge Baklava and the notes are nutty, flaky crust, caramelized sugar, buttery vanilla fudge, and a hint of cinnamon sugar poured on March 17th. That's kind of a brown and white. This smells yummy. It's definitely got like that cinnamon sugar note and it reminds me of the cinnamon sugar twists and they weren't as flaky as a croissant but it was buttery dough and they were twisted up and I don't know what the names of them were but they had cinnamon sugar all through them and these layers of dough and just delicious little treats to eat. And it smells a lot like that to me. You also, to me, I feel like I'm getting a hint of a brown sugar note, which might be that caramelized sugar not really getting a nuttiness, but I do get this buttery, like flaky dough smell. And it's not dough as in like a yeasty dough. This is not a yeasty dough. This is a buttery pastry dough. I don't feel like I get the vanilla fudge. I don't really get the chocolate. Because um, vanilla fudge can come across as like a white chocolatey scent. But that smells really delicious. And I do think that the fruity pebbles one. Let me smell this again. I feel like it was sitting next to this and took on just a hint 
of the smell so I'll separate them and it will probably change once it's um, time to melt it so yeah that is my first order from Ava's Country Cupboard I will start putting some of these in upcoming melting baskets because I'm really excited to try this wax. Once again, thanks so much y'all for watching.